Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a standard light, a lightning opportunity page and make it work for this business. Now, I hate this lightning page with a passion. There is, you know, apparently they put the details tab second or third in all cases because of the slow loading of lightning in the beginning. But I think lightning works pretty well now that we can you know, a put the details tab first where it's meant to be so you can see the details B um, put, can remove uh, some of the details on your page layouts and put them on separate uh, sections that only display when when they're needed and you can see my other video from London's calling if you want to have a look at that so why would you have activity first you know, I've, I think I've said before in a couple of uh, the other videos, I hate activities. Yeah, if people want to use activities themselves, fine. But anything that has automated activity generation is never going to work. I've never never seen a person use activities well in that way. Um, yes, chatter is important, but it, again, why does it need to take up the whole page? If it's just over on the side, it could be, you know, a lot better. Um, and then you need the details front and centre. Now, again, you've got to think about this as far as your business. This uh, business is a non-profit, so we can see it's a it's a opportunity for a membership, and it's got some membership subscriptions, membership payments, it's, um, et cetera. Um, so we we need all that information, but. Um, donations on membership payments that happen by third party system come in as paid automatically. So we never go through the opportunity process. So we just don't need the path. It's just extra visual overload for this page that we just don't need. Um, and of course, in these cases, we're not going to do activities because we're not working the opportunity. Um, we may do some chatter, chatter notes. So we're just going to rearrange this page to be a lot more useful for, um, for this business. Okay, so the first thing I know I want to change is the uh, compact layout here. So let's just go to our object. And we'll go to compact layouts. And we've got this donation compact layout, so we'll just use that one. Now, this opportunities has record types. So, of course, in all cases, I want to have opportunity record types. Not the first one, but maybe the second or third. Definitely amount, close date and stage is important. Um, and opportunity owner might be important also. And we'll just leave it at that. It was mainly that I wanted to get the... Um, record type on the compact layout. And we'll make sure we've got that as our compact layout assignment for this. Um, so if these memberships once. Save that. So I'll come back here. Now I've got this little plugin here, uh, it's Chrome extension called Clear Cache. And because I've changed something and I'm in a production org, um, I am going to click this button and it's going to delete the index DB behind the scenes in Chrome that caches it. And so now we can see immediately that that has changed. That has, helps us to not have to do control F5 10 times to make the change happen. So we've got the opportunity record type, the amount, close date. I still may play around with that bit a little bit, maybe put the amount a bit further down, but that's fine for now. So the next thing I don't like is the um, uh, uh, too many buttons here, especially the delete. I don't want the delete to be focused there. So to do that, we're gonna go back to our page layouts. And I'm not 100% sure which page layout this is. Uh, this is a record type of membership registration. So I'm just gonna to go to page layout assignment. This is a pretty complex org. So um, so membership registration, and it's called the membership opportunity layout. As we're moving to Lightning, we may, we may um, fix a few of these. Okay.
but I've started off wrong. The actual buttons that I want to see there, how many I want to see, I change on the, the page. So I click onto the heading and say, to, I want to see two, actually I just want to see one button active. So I may change that again. Um, and again, this is the very first time I've made this changes to this page. So I'm going to need to activate it. And wherever possible, I want this as the org default. Yes, you can do it at default and app record type and profile, but it can get quite unwieldy. So let's just assign this one as the org default because what we're going to do is use the conditional components to show different things for different um, record types. So I've now got on my edit page, if I go back um, on my lightning page, just that one button visible and everything else is uh, uh, down underneath the uh, button. Now, if I'm using Conga Composer a lot, I might put that up, the, up visible, um, but I don't want delete or change owner or change record type to be there visible, taking up space on my screen. Let's just make it simple, especially for things that you're not going to be editing and again, working this opportunity that much. Okay, so the next thing is we don't want the path. So we're going back to edit page. The path is just not necessary on this page layout. Now, it might be necessary on other page layouts. And so what we could do is do a conditional component and say uh, conditional rendering of this thing and say where again a lot of the fields are just not visible in this, this list so opportunity to record type is not visible in there so again i want that visible only on particular opportunity record types uh, but the opportunity record type is not visible there. So what we have to do then is make a, um, a formula field called show path as a checkbox and put all of our conditional uh, requirements in that formula field and then just come in here and say show path equals true. For right now, I'm going to just remove it because I can e easily add it back later. Now this section is blank, that means, it but it won't show anything. Um, on the page. So let's just quickly have a look at that. Yep, so that doesn't show on the page. Okay, so our page is looking a lot cleaner already. So let's uh, continue with our page. Now, of course, the very first thing we want to do is have details first. Now, regarding, sorry, regarding this page layout, the, the, you know, we've got this two sections at the top and then two columns at the side. It would be fabulous to be able to change the page layout um, to have the different uh, sections of the page. Uh, so maybe you want three columns, but you can't change a page layout once it's created. You can only create a new page. Uh, and then you can completely add all of the components again and then make that page your default page. So here, if we go to a record page, um, then we can choose the... We can choose the layout in this section. So we've got these different sections that we can... different page layouts that we can have. So. It's a bit annoying because you're spending all this time working on this page layout. Um, my, my thought is to just get a consistent page layout across all of your records that people use regularly and only change that consistent layout if you have a really good reason to. So of course, in this case, we uh, want our details to have first. There's absolutely no reason to not have the, see the details as you come into the record. Well, there might be. If you want just a few key details, then I might put a key details tab first and put an action on the home the home tab to say, just show me those key details, especially if I've got a very long page layout. 
Now, I, I don't want activity and chatter here, so I'm just going to remove them. So I just want details. What I normally use a second tab for is like charts, report charts, um, re record charts, um, or other things that it's going to be only visible to different departments or for different record types. So here, actually, I might put the membership details as a sec second tab. That might be a good idea. So I'm going to do second tab. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to change that to be custom and put membership. Okay. Now, I just don't think there's ever a reason now to use this related lists uh, component. You can get so much more fine-grained control over using a single related list. So let's just remove that related list component and of course, we want to have our related list quick links. So I just always stick that up there. So people can get to their related lists similar to how they um, did in Classic. So it helps them move in that transition from Classic to Lightning. Now over on the right hand side, we're going to put our chatter back. So we'll want a tab component. And of course, our first tab, we want chatter. These are just these are just labels. They don't actually do anything. They're just particular labels that Salesforce think you might use. And of course, if we want activities on other record types, we're gonna to have to have activities there. So, and then we're gonna put our chatter on our first tab. And activities on our second tab. Okay, so that side's pretty good. And now, we're going to deal with our related related uh, lists. So in our so related list single is a really good uh, component. So we're going to have here uh, put in all of our membership. So. Now, always check, put the um, list the thing to uh, list. I don't know whoever thought of the tile thing. It's only only useful for contacts and not really useful for and maybe files, and not really much use for anything else. Um, so membership. Now there is another membership one, but it's not really particularly useful. So I'm just gonna um, keep this membership description history. So I'm just gonna keep it off this thing because I just want the key membership details. Now, because we've only got four fields on our um, related list component, which is just, again, still so limiting, um, we're gonna have to change around the layout on the page layout, the standard page layout to, choose exactly which fields are going to be displayed here just to make it sure we've got the, the right details. So, um, but that's basically all I need for this, this page. So let's just come back and see if that looks a little bit better now. Now, I think I haven't put details as the first the first default tab. Now, I need to clean up this um, related list quick links because I don't need all of these details on the page layout. So, again, I can come back to this page layout and I can... Um, so, we're not using GAU, so I can get rid of that. Um, so... Not a stage history wasn't on there. That's a really important one to have an opportunities. Um, so we've got contact roles is really important for uh, non-profits, membership payments, membership subscriptions. I'm going to have subscription histories just in the page layout, but not highlighted on the page. Again, we've got our old activity. We haven't quite moved over to notes and files on this org yet. So we'll just leave that. Now, whilst we're here, we're just going to make sure we um, uh, fix up our buttons. So we had edit, clone, delete. So I just like to have, um, we don't need to submit for approval. We're not doing that. I like to have change owner and change record type, all the edit things together. And as I said, if I had used Conga Composer a lot, I'd put it first. But in this case, 
we're not using Conga Composer that much on on this type of um, opportunity because it automatic the receipt gets automatically sent. So that just cleans up our page layout again. And again, I'm going to click my clear cache just to update that. And so our GAU has been removed and we've just got our standard uh, page layouts uh, related lists. Now I'm just going to um, fix that one last thing that I did wrong. And that's on this, I want my default tab to be details. Now, wouldn't it be lovely if we can have conditional rendering on, oh, we can on this tab. No, we can't. No, it's on the whole section. But on an actual tab, wouldn't it be lovely if we can have conditional rendering? So I could show membership details only um, if that was um, for a membership opportunity. So what I actually might do this is call this um, additional details and then if it's uh, for a purchase at the shop, I might then have a shop details as the related list there. But I'm just going to leave that for now because I'll come back to that as I go through those different record types. So that's it. That's my nice, clean layout uh, opportunity page specifically for a non-profit um, and but definitely needed to be you need to look at it for a different business uses um, and different what different things you're going to put on the page layout. Simple page layout, but I might put path back in for a opportunity that we, we, we would be working. So I hope that helps.